Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Future Studio. To do a quick video to share with you that free subscribe button title. So if you're ready, let's check it out. All right, so you can download that title by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file, which is actually our free startup pack 2.0, which contain over a hundred assets for DaVinci Resolve, including transition, titles, effect, etc. And we just added that to the pack. So you can just double click on the zip file to unzip it. Then it will give you this folder with the license, the installation instruction, the pack and the font. If you already have the pack installed, you don't need to reinstall all the font. But if that's the first time that you're installing that pack, please make sure to install all the font. Otherwise, the title will not work because DaVinci don't know what font to use otherwise, and you will get a black screen. So please make sure to install the font. To do that, just select all the font in the folder, and then you can just double click on it to start the installation process, or you can drag all those font into your font folder. Once that done, you can simply here double click on the DRFX file to either install or override the pack. If that's the first time, that will just say install right here. You can just select that and it will install it. And if that's not your first time installing the pack, it will just present here override, like it's the case on my computer, and it will simply replace the old pack with the new one. So we're just gonna do that. Once in DaVinci Resolve, you can find the title by going over to Effect, then Titles, Video Editor Studio, and then you can just scroll down to Free Starter Pack. Here you can just open the drop down and you will find the title under Social Media. And here is the new YouTube subscribe button. So you can then just take it and drag it here on your timeline above your clip. Now, because the animation and functionality of this title are a bit more complicated, as you can see, it's a bit heavier to process and it doesn't play in real-time playback directly. I'm gonna show you in a second what you can do to get real-time playback. All you have to do is going over to playback and then here switch render cache from none to smart. I also select here in the viewer menu show all video frame to avoid having any dropped frame. When this bar right here above your title has switched from red to blue, that means that the title has been processed and now it will play in real time. Every time you're gonna make a modification, it will need to reprocess, but that should be very fast. Now let me show you the functionality of that title. So here, if we just click on the title and we go over here to title, we have a couple of options we can choose from in the inspector. First off is the animation length in second. So right now by default, if you play it, the animation is about three seconds. We can make that faster by here selecting one second, for example. As you can see now, the bar is red because it needs to be processed again. So I'm just gonna play it, give it the time to process properly, and then we'll be able to play it in real time. And here we go. Now the animation is about one second. So what I will recommend is simply to make all your modification and then you can just play it to process the animation. Obviously you can also extend or reduce the title and then here you can choose between different animation out. So right now by default, it's a fade, but we could choose between a bunch of different animation or no animation at all for the end. Right here, there is no animation, or we could choose, for example, a sync down right now, and it will simply disappear by syncing down. We can adjust the size and position. So right now, for example, it is on the face of my subject. So I would like to bring it a bit lower. We're just gonna do that right here with the Y axis. And we're gonna have it, and we're gonna have the title frame here between the keyboard and the face of my subject. You can also reduce the size. So right now maybe it's a bit too big. So I'm just gonna reduce it a little bit. Then the second drop down right here is the color controls. We can adjust the color of three things. First, the shape, which is the overall shape of the button. Then the text and icon, which are the icon right here and the different text. And then we have the sparkles color, which appearing right here when the subscribe is changing. So let's start with the shape. As you can see, you got a lot of color control. That's basically to adjust the color at different stage of the animation. Here, for example, at the first stage of the animation, we need to display subscribe. Right now it's white. We could switch that, for example, here to red. Then the second color right here in gray will be the last color when it's subscribed. So for example, here, we're just gonna switch that to blue. So right now at the beginning, red, then at the end, blue. And then here, the gradient is basically the switch between the two color. So right now we have red and yellow, but we could change that to any other color. So right now we're gonna go, I don't know, maybe green, and then on this one, we're gonna select uh, something more towards the pink. So that you mix and match the color as you want. 
If at any moment you want to reset that to default parameter, you can just double click on any parameter and it will reset it to the default. Then basically it's gonna be the same process here for the text and icon. The first color right here gonna be the icon color. Then the second color gonna be the one for the text right here. And the last color gonna be for this text right here. Then for the sparkle control, same thing here, you have the possibility to adjust each individual shape color in the inspector. In case you want to change the text because uh, your channel is not in English, it's uh, in French, Spanish, whatever, uh, you cannot do that from the inspector right away. You will have to go over to Fusion, then just double click here on the group. And then here you will have to go over to the right node and then here change the text to whatever you want for the subscribe. So here we're gonna just replace that with ash ash and then here in text one, you replace the subscribed. So here, here we go. So now you'll be able to change that text right there. We'll try to bring that to the inspector in a future update. Now the next control you have access to is the shadows. So here, as you can see, we got a shadow behind our title. We can adjust that shadow strength. We can also choose the angle and we can adjust the drop distance as well as the blur basically making the edges softer. You can also here play around with the glow by increasing the threshold and increasing the gain. You can also play around with the glow size to have that glow more diffuse if you increase it. Then the blend will adjust the overall strength of the effect. And then the last one is here the background. By default, it's off. Here the opacity is at zero, but you can increase that to basically add a layer between your title and your footage to help the title pop a little more. There is a lot of things you can do with that background. For example, here we can adjust the position of the background and then we can adjust the soft edge to make it a gradient and affect only the bottom part of the image. Right now, I'm just gonna increase the opacity to the maximum just so you see how it's affecting the image. Another possibility is here to increase the corner radius to make it round instead of square. And then we could potentially here reduce the overall width so it doesn't affect as much the border and readjust the position so it's covering up a bit more the title right here. And then we can decrease again the opacity just so it's affecting the part where the title is and make it pop and not affect the rest of the image. And that's pretty much it. I hope this title will be useful to you. Please let me know in the comment what kind of title we should make next and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videoeditorstudio.com.